Hundreds of cars lined up right here behind me. Volunteers running to car trunks, filling them up with groceries and school supplies. Jeremiah Tevis sat as a car passenger, but tells me seeing the community gather in this way gives him hope. You get to get free groceries. It helps you. If you don't have a lot of money, you can just get free. And you can get free backpacks also. Jeremiah Tevis came around the corner with his grandmother. With the biggest smile, he watched as his grandmother's trunk was filled with groceries. He got some candy, cereal, some apples, and some water. Careers, education, finances, and health are community awareness for youth's pillars of success. The program looks to help the youth in the community and give them the tools for personal success. This year we partnered with Refuge Church and we're giving away 40,000 pounds of food. We know that in the middle of this pandemic, people have been affected economically, people have been affected in many ways in terms of their financial stream of income. We know that food deserts still exist. Refugee Church and one generation away supplying the drive by event with groceries. Hundreds of volunteers working together to serve their community. And we just want people to experience a blessing today. We want them to know that we love them and no matter what they're going through, they have a community behind them to support them. The annual back to school event preparing parents and students with all the tools needed for a successful school year. So it was important for us to partner with an organization that is actually making an impact in the community so that we can have a dual effect on the families that we're serving. That makes me feel happy. The event was open to anyone in the community who needed a helping hand. And as you can see, by the end of the event, all of the groceries and school supplies were gone and packed in car trunks. Reporting in Huntsville, Olivia Schuler, Way 31 News.